Welcome back to the channel. Today's episode, we'll be looking into five browser extensions that each and every developer for the 365 or Power Platform needs. First one on our list is Level Up. Level Up for Dynamics 365 is a Power Platform or Power Apps browser extension that you can use in Edge, Chrome, or Firefox that actually helps you to perform advanced action related to your D365. To get started with this extension, you'll need to go to your browser extension store and install it. Once it is installed, it gives you the ability to view logical names, clear those logical names once you have enabled them, or blur out some data depending on the requirements that you need or if you wanted to take screenshots. And it has an option for God mode. This option will show hidden controls on the form and make all fields editable even if they are read only. And it has this cool feature called change fields. On change fields, it highlights all the modified fields not yet saved on your form. And this feature is similar to the one that you have in JavaScript called Estati. And it has a lot more features which will require a dedicated video for. Second one on our list is Dataverse REST Builder. The Dataverse REST Builder, or DRB, is an extension to create and execute a request against the Dataverse Web API endpoint. With this extension, it gives you the ability to create a request by using drop-down configurations and choosing the version of the API that you want to query against. Whether you can be using fetch XML or writing C Sharp code or JavaScript or TypeScript code, it generates that code for you so that you do not start from scratch. All you need to do is to go into the configure tab, choose your entity or table, the fields that you want, or if they are related to something else, then you can choose a related entity or the grid of that entity. Then click on any of the other tabs that are there. For instance, xrm.webapi, it will give you the code generated from your configuration. So you can just copy that code and put it into your TypeScript or JavaScript file. And it also has a Power Automate tab as well, where you can actually copy that piece of code and then put it into your favorite web API client, Postman, or any other one that you use. So now when you get back that data, it comes back as JSON. Now you want to copy that data or actually convert that data into CSV, which leads us to the next one called JSON to CSV. What JSON to CSV does, it actually converts that data from JSON to CSV, as simple as that, without you fiddling with the data. And once you are done converting it into CSV, you can be able to download it into an Excel CSV file where you'll be able to open it in Excel and manipulate it as required. Fourth one on our list is Got Beads Toolbox. Enables you to have useful tools and shortcut to assist you with developing your D Disk 5 environment. When you open it from your browser, it has three tabs, Info, Navigation, and Utilities. 